So I am so glad to meet you, to see you, to find out who you are and where you are, because I do think of you as the video underground. <laughs> Basically, I'm not the person who shoots these videos. I'm just a person who has the capabilities of the poor people of Iran don't have to have these videos gathered all in one place. And you have already gotten videos out today. Now, we have one I have seen of a, of a guard with a, a young man, and he has him at one point at a chokehold, and then he has him on the ground at another point. You can see that the government of Iran celebrating its birthday by hitting its own people and its own children. Let me ask you what sense you have in other ways, though. What has happened to the protest movement? Because we've read here about the number of people who've been arrested. We've read about executions. What is your sense from your underground sources? I think the people in Iran have uh, a lot of hope. I saw one of the things that was uh, very interesting yesterday about a guy who was released from prison. Uh, one of the things he blogged about was, I was released two uh, hours ago from uh, prison. I will be at the protest tomorrow. I want to go back to the video that started you on this road. Tell us what it was when you looked up and saw what had happened when there was the raid on the university. And what was it that galvanized you? One of the most underrated videos that ever came out was this 30-minute uh, video of what really happened in the university dorms the day after the election. This is before any of the protests started. Go back and think through the videos and tell me, what is the one other image in any video that still haunts you the most? It's not uh, one video that will overtake. I think there's a video that each protest gets to known by. Like you have Neda's video, which came out the first. Then you have the lady who got beaten video, the lady who got hit with a baton in her head and people come to save her. And now you have this video that came out today of this guy being in chokehold, basically without his clothes. Will they ever be able to shut you down and shut them down, shut down all your sources? I hope not. Uh, I wouldn't say they can't because we really don't know what they're capable of. They have all the resources they need to do uh, basically whatever they want at will. But we try to do our best to get the news out. This is what my uh, father tried to do. So I would try to keep that going. He uh, stepped up and spoke his mind in a very closed environment. So I should be able to do the same out here in the open. What happened to your father? Uh, I think... Uh, when I go back to what happened to him, it's very sad that a journalist has to get attacked um, and uh, go to jail with a broken rib and be in solitary for 70 days. It's even uh, more sad where uh, he's traced down using a Nokia cell phone technology. And it's sad that we have over 60 different journalists in jail. So it's not my father only, this is a government where they don't want anything heard. And before I let you go, what is the phrase in Farsi? Give me one phrase in Farsi that the Green Movement uses as its anthem. There's a few. I would say Mabi Shomari, which means uh, we are countless. There's also say Mohammed uh, Bahamas uh, team. That means we're all together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.